Like, it's not a case of having to provide good quality banter. You can provide shite, tired, after a long raid and getting up at, like, 8 in the morning banter, and that'll do. Yeah, that should happen. I've got to say, I'm pretty happy with Arcane at the moment. For a, nice effect, yeah, for an for an intelligent man, a man concerned with like fun, the funness of a spec, it might be boring. But for a man such as me, concerned only with DPS, it's pretty good. It's to be fair, it's actually quite a fun spec. Once you get to like, once you cap and well, obviously I don't know, I've never capped in it. But once you cap and you get into like the ins and outs and the mid maxing and stuff, yeah, I get the feeling. It's, it's actually like just a really interesting. I, spec I've got to say, I, like I, I'm spec. rarely excited when leveling, but I'm. Not in a sexual way. I will <laughs> just just to put you at ease. Not in a sexual way, but I'm feeling pretty damn fucking excited playing this. I don't think anybody's ever said that about playing Arcane. Just but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It might be that the best thing about this is that obviously secondary stats are important, but you could pretty much swap specs if you wanted. Like, depends what? what the secondaries are. I yeah, of course, of clear. course. But unless you're like, unless you're getting heavy in the raid scene, you're probably good enough just fucking. You could switch halfway through and people wouldn't notice in like a pug, do you know what I mean? Yeah. People wouldn't give a shit. Um, it's good now though, because I'm literally just one-shotting every mob. Like, it's, it's absolutely fucking hilarious. It, it, it's insane because, um, because there's no like spell animation either, you just like have a gl gl blue glow, it just looks like I'm deleting people. Yeah, there's no ca there's no travel time. Travel time is actually an issue for some of the yeah. casters. Yeah, no, you're right, especially for things like um, Pyroblast, because of how long the cast time is. Yeah. Um, well, you get instant ones in fire, you don't really use them unless they're instant, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, does, it, it procs, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is true. Yeah, they've... Um, it's, not that, it's not that important with Frost because of the fact you got slows, but when you're the boss, mm. of course, it is. Mm. I can't... added something to the, uh, the water elemental as well, which will give you, um, what are they called? Icy fingers? The procs that give you the ice lances that do a shit ton of damage? Wouldn't know. Yeah, no, I've got a lot of yeah, shit so to instead learn. Of the, instead of the water bolt, it does like this beam thing we might have seen. Apparently that, yeah, that, I've that, seen that. that starts that. giving you procs, because obviously on boss fights you can't freeze in a blaze. This is again like partially why I like. I think I'll like Arcane, because a lot of people probably won't like this fight, but I love how it's like it's simplicity. Like Frost has become really, not complicated, but a lot of gimmicky shit to it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Whereas I really like being a mage and just being a one-man fucking machine gun of pain, you know? And I think that's arcane. That's arcane at the moment. It's the same with the uh, the lone wolf town or hunters. Quite a few people like that because they yeah. don't have the the man management of hunters, and it's just like it's a direct damage increase. Yeah. The only problem with that is obviously like you miss out on say for example the five percent stat increases yeah. you get from pets. But at the same time though, pets can sometimes be really fucking pain in the ass. I if I was going to hunter, I'd definitely go lone wolf, and then I'd play like a real badass like forsaken hunter with like a fucking. Blood fang retextured set and like a cool ass sniper rifle, and just be like, What are you gonna do now? There you go, yeah, there you go again with your uh, transmog. I'm a man who likes a good transmog. You're a fan of the Preach show. How can you not be a fan of the transmog? Oh, that's true, that's true. I just I just accepted the fact that I'm never gonna be good enough. What, to be in Stark Industries? No, well, that and to be on the. Uh... The, the, uh, the breach, the breach transmog show. competition. Oh, on the transmog. I could be on the fucking transmog. I'm not saying I could raid in Stark, but I could get in the transmog. I can come up with some nice transmogs. I've got a really good one in mind for this mage as well. But it'll take a shitload of time getting it. But the the most important part, people, remember, if you're playing a mage, is get your Gandalf hat sorted first and foremost. Get your Gandalf hat. They should take a vote on that one. What? I bet you the vast majority of people think it just looks fucking stupid. Oh, no, it doesn't. On an undead, you look like that badass, you know, the Dalaran guy in the sepulchre? Like, the guy who's like an ex-Dalaran badass. And he's oh. like, he's like, oh, fuck the Kirin Tor, coming straight from the underground. Or more like, fuck the Kirin Tor, coming straight from the undersea. Aye. I love the bit where you scare the Murloc baby. He's like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, are you there? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. No, I'm like two quests behind you. Are you, want, are you challenging me to a duel? <laughs> You'd win. If you give me level 10, yeah. You would. No, actually, it depends. If you could get your. With your level 10 and your heirloom daggers, you could kill me. But if I managed to get off a cheeky Frost Nova, you'd be fucked. True. Because I'd probably be able to two shot you with an arcane blast. To the fess! If you get the cast off. Oh, I could get the cast off if you're in the Frost Nova. I just blink away and get it off. 
unless they're going to be absolutely insane Blizzard and bring out like um, what's it called uh, heirloom trinkets, you know, <laughs> heirloom grand medallion of the fucking alliance badass or grand medallion of the horde. Right, doesn't he, uh, what's the undead passive do? Um, they've changed the passives for Undead. I don't think you've got um, Will of the Forsaken. Uh, yeah, you have. Removes any charm, fear, and sleep effect. Have you seen Touch of the Grave? Look yeah, at look. It heals you for a bit, doesn't it? That is a f ridiculous fucking <laughs> passive. You never really see it until like, like, unless it's low level, but yeah. Oh uh, yeah, well I don't know how it would be at high levels. I guess it's pointless. But at lower levels, it's literally just doing like an extra half of my damage, and it's like what? It's what the shaz is going on? I'm just gonna open some clams for that for that hot spicy meat. So what um what spec are you gonna go combat for the lols? I might go combat. I think you should go assassin, mate. I think you should be a true forsaken. Go go pure RP like I am. Like mm, um, I'm not, I I actually quite like assassination as well. Well, assassination's the most fun, according to some people. I mean I've told you I said earlier my opinion. I I hate mm. I hate assaulty and assassination. I'm a combat man until I die. Um, I mean, I've played the other two, so I might give Sotoli a go. I've never actually even looked at it. Mr. Smite, the Tauren Combat Rogue. Because um, he was. He was a Tauren Combat Rogue. Yeah, he had a two-handed mace, but he switched that shit up and got two axes. Combat style of play. Um, and he also taught Combat Rogues a lot about changing weapons all the fucking time. But anyway. Um, like, like Combat Rogues, the one class in the game currently in High Mall where it's like you've got three choices of weapons that you can use, do you know what I mean? Whereas, like, if you're a tank, one weapon. If you're a caster, two, but only because they know that Margok's a lot harder than Tectus. Yeah, I managed to get the Heroic Spire Tectus in the day. Nice. And finally. I, I, I don't know about you, but, like, I, I, I want to get into Mythic pretty soon. Like, Oof, I wish. No, we have to fucking switch guilds up though, or at least fucking fire a lot of people. No, we couldn't. No, no, no. In this guild, we couldn't. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm soon. Well, why do you think I'm leveling a mage, dude? That's fair. I like. I think. Like, I'm not saying this to like like sound like some kind of like fucking major badass speaking from like an authority, but you could you could raid mythic because you've got like the no because mythic is just like heroic. It's not like it is. It's obviously hard, yes, but you've got like the um the commitment and the fucking sense to to put the effort in. But you know me, you know me. I'm like the guy who took like a month off university to to do wards, so I'd be fine. Um, <laughs> I bet you. I say that then, like I do uh, LFR and like fall in the tiger pit, even though it's not active in LFR. Just like somehow glitch into the blink into the tiger pit, and you're like, you were saying something. I found the. Uh, I, I was a noob. I fell in the tiger pit in the heroic run a while Jesus back. Jesus Christ! No, no, no. But I managed to get out without taking any damage. Did you shadow step? Oh, did you? Um, I had the these. Yeah, that's the way. The best talent of life. That's the way. Shit. But right now you're playing a rogue, so you can do a ghost and uh, shadow step out of that fuck. Yeah. But only if you go subtlety, of course. Oh no! It's not a thing anymore, is it? It's no, a talent, it's a talent yeah. yeah. It's a talent. Hi, I've missed. I'm, I've got to say, I, I know, understand why the modern talent system exists, but I still miss the old one. Really do miss the old one. And it's not a nostalgia thing, it's just that it felt more like you were um, progressing a character, almost like in Skyrim with like, the perks, like slowly improving your character rather than just every 15 levels getting one thing. That could make or break your class. And also, there was a, it allowed for a bit more customability because there are in this day and age there are some talents where it's like you have to take this talent, and that was what they were trying to avoid because that was how it was pre um, Mr. Pandaria. Mm -hmm. But that being said you got much more customability back then because there were a lot of things where you could choose how much points you were going to put into one thing, how much you were going to put into another. The best system was back in vanilla because in vanilla you weren't bound to one particular spec, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, you could put points in all three tr trees. So, for example, if you no warriors spec in prot, you might take a few things, but no warriors wasted talent points in prot because it just wasn't a useful tree back in vanilla. People just put shit in... Um, like arms or fury to increase the cooldowns, uh, to decrease the cooldowns of abilities that created that um, 
gain threat and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. So, it's kind of a... Kind of a bummer I missed that. But at the same time, I love the way that when you choose a specialization, now you get, like, abilities that are unique to that. Like, when you, when, when you get to level 10, it's like, ooh! It's almost like starting the character over again, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, and I also like how you start off with abilities that you won't use again, like Frost Firebolt, because it's nice. It feels a bit more like progression. Because now I'm using Arcane Blast, and even though it's just a similar thing to Frost Firebolt with a few different mechanics, it feels really fresh. The fresh, fresh Prince of Brel, Brill. I keep saying Brel because Brel's a a delicious restaurant in Ashton Lane in Glasgow where we live, and I would recommend it to anyone passing through that lovely city. Have you been to Brow before? Never even thought of it. <sighs> <laughs> You've been good as chips, good though. Yeah, I've been there as well. It's a nice place. Weed curry shop, that's some tasty shit. Hot and spicy meat. <laughs> you need to see it, you need to see it, right? Don't hate on the Ainsley Harriet. Nah, I'll just hit on you. Ainsley Harriet is a cool dude. Oh, fuck, this Arcane Blast is so cool. I'm gonna definitely, like... I Where wanna... You I'm now in the Angmand. Are you Mummer? Yeah. You could have done better with the name, dude. No, I know. Mummer? It's, uh, it's a character from a book I was reading at the time. Mummer? With an R? Mummer? Yeah. Mummer? It sounds kinda cool because it sounds like you, like... It sounds like you silence people. Oh, see to be fair, I, I think I've got a pretty cool, like, forsaken RP name, Vortigern. I sound like a, a once, like, aspiring mage of Dalaran who died of syphilis and was resurrected because he was just boning all the blood elves because he was just such a good mage. He would just like turn people into sheep, not the people he was having sex with, though. Oh, this is Welsh. Oh, dude, you can't do that. Pe you sound Welsh. To, to people who oh, don't. Oh, oh, fuck me. That's you know, harsh. you do know that like a Geordie man sounds a lot like a Welshman. You're full of shit. And you're also <laughs> half deaf, apparently. Just saying, dude. Where are you? Fucking. Are you still just, doing that? Just part? finished the Scare Murloc show. What level are you now? Are you level nine? Ten. Level ten. You're gonna have to take some of those things off, dude. You're gonna have to take some of those heirlooms off. Fuck no. I'm that guy, aren't I? I'm that. I'm, I'm the really shitty partner who's like, oh my god, dude, it's not fair if you've got extra heirlooms. It's fine. I'll fight you. I'll fight you naked and slick up your ass. The banter comes from the talk, not like leveling together. In fact, leveling together pisses me off because you'll take items that I need. Like, Why would I do that? No, I mean like when we're doing quests, you'll pick up stuff that I need. No, oh, right, I fucking yeah. can't stand shit like that. Well, if it's like the loot quest, if it's a kill quest, it means it gets done like four times quicker. Yeah, but like, I might be playing a mage, but as a, as people know very well, I have a rogue mentality when it comes to all kinds of shit. But, um, I was going to say, the the thing that's absolutely insane is that, um, the mana increase of, what's it called, um, Arcane Blast, doesn't even matter because your spirit, like your regen Not this in the early levels are so high at these levels. Like I would recommend anybody rolling a mage for leveling, just go arcane until you hit like level probably around 60. Probably higher than that. And then just swap, switch if you want to switch. Not that I would, because this is fun. Although I probably will get tired of just seeing my hands go blue and then people disappearing. <laughs> Nah, I'm never going nah, to get tired of that. Although you know me, I'm a bit of a ma like a mad bastard. I might want to just burn people. Oh, shit! <laughs> the bed. That was my chair. It's all right though. It's not broken. It does this thing where you know how like leather chairs have like the the pull out thing that you use to push them up and down. Mm -hmm. Well, like mine has like a lock on it, and if you pull it out fully, it allows like free roam of the chair. I had it pushed in, and it just sometimes pops out and it. Heart attack syndrome. No, we're not dueling. This is on camera. I don't do I PvP. I don't do PvP. I see. Yeah, neither do I. Are you that guy? Are you that guy who has knows he has superior gear, the guy he's dueling, and does yeah. it anyway? Yeah, of course I Because that's a shit style of The only play. time I know I'm going to win. You're the sort of guy who, when achievement came out, went on his highest level character and dueled a level one, aren't you? To get nah. the achievement. Nah. Uh huh. No, decline. Not that much of a tool. Decline you like I decline your sexual advances. <laughs> you wish. 
I should come. I should. I should like defend myself right now, but strangely, I'm not. <laughs> I used to love like the old version of this because it was pretty much the same, except you felt like the, the the Forsaken that were in these mills, led by like the Angban family, were like really fucking dangerous, and it was like shit. Devlin, I'm Devlin Angban is basically the Lich King, and now he's just a little fucking prat. Because you know how uh, I don't know if you remember, but you know I always talk about the old days, but like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know how um. You might remember how it used to be that the last quest you had here was effectively an elite quest where you had to kill all five, like, leaders of the family. Mm, I think uh, you still do that. Yeah, I think you do, except it's a lot easier now. It used to be that, like, one of them was down in that crypt where you are. Yeah, but, yeah I remember that. And one of them still is, except back then, you couldn't kill more than one or two mobs at a time without literally risking your life. And... I put my simple linen pants on, I made them. No, um... And it was just almost impossible to complete unless you grouped with a lot of people, which is what made the game back then so fun. Like, people ask what sort of things, if you did play, made it so fun. The best answer is that because content was a bit more challenging earlier on, you made a lot of friends in leveling through necessity, which is kind of nice because it makes it feel like more of an MMO when you've got to group up with people to do certain content, and the rewards feel more appropriate. Like, if you c get a request reward, it actually feels worth it. I love your boots, by the way. Those like furry big ones, with your toes, with your toes pointing out. It's normal than dead. No matter what fucking boots they're wearing, they're gonna draw. They look to fucking them. cool, don't they? Yeah. yeah, I think it looks badass. It's not like the trolls where they just don't have shoes. That's true. Except trolls are badass, no. You can't I hate on a troll. The only thing that's better than a troll is an undead because it's a fucking undead. Like undeads literally don't give a damn because they've already died once. They've already died once. I've got a um, level 30 rogue on Blade's Edge server, which is like the for new players one that I haven't played in like um, six years, and he's just got like old WoW like Burning Crusade gear on, like from Shadowfang Keep original and stuff like that. And mm. I'm just keeping him intact as like a trophy piece because he's got like loads of rares on him. He's like a twink basically, but he's got loads of items, loot items from dungeons and stuff from back when you had to travel to the dungeons. Oh, miss it, and. He just can't be changed. Notched rib. The thing is, though, you've got to bring this guy notched ribs as proof that you kill these people. But to be fair, there's like dead people everywhere. You could just like take a load of bones from one guy. Oh, a fiery wand. I'll be taking that. Even though it doesn't do anything. Let's have a look. Seriously, though, like, what purpose do wands serve these days? Fuck knows. Like, Mom. like, it's isn't it basically pointless having a wand though? Like, I mean, to be fair, it was pretty pointless anyway. Like, the wands are a hangover from a time when you needed like to use them because of the fact that you would run out of mana in in almost every boss fight, yeah. and it was like your alternative. It was like your sidearm, but. Oh, you killed Devlin! What the yeah. fuck is wrong with just you? Just go and loot it, man. Uh -huh. You can't just kill Devlin, dude. I did. He's an important lore character. <laughs> Anymore, he's not, he's dead. Gypsy Buckler. Gypsy Buckler? I should be able to use that, I'm a mage. I should be able to be a battle mage. Like in Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> awesome game, don't know what you're snorting about. I've, well, actually, I've never played it, but I've heard. I, my friend, things. I almost got a character halfway through the leveling of Elder Scrolls Online. I'll have you know. Take three hours. Um, no, it took me a while, purely because I didn't want to do it. But um, <laughs> I deserve points for my my dedication to the PVE MMO genre, because I actually put up with that game for as long as I did. I think you would find very few people who were willing to do so. No, oh, Darumba did though. Darumba got a guy to max level. Oh. <laughs> For a long time, before Darumba had, had sampled the delicacy that is World of Warcraft compared to Esso, like, <laughs> and this is going to be hilarious to say, I would ask him, um, "Oh, come on, dude, play WoW. You're gonna have a great time in it." And he was like, "I just want to, I just want to level a character to max first. You know, I just want to try this game out first. 
Oh god, what a... Well, at least he leveled the max to try it properly. Quite a few people just get bored of the leveling and quit. Yeah, it was just it was just that like the the combat was like really dull for a game that was supposed to like revolutionize MMO combat. Yeah. It was really dull because it was effectively lock on, so you were attacking, but each attack was basically just like white hits anyway. It just felt like, and also the, I don't know whether it was a mixture of the way animation was done or sound effects, but combat just felt like virtual. It didn't feel like you know how in Skyrim if you bash someone, it feels like you fucking giving them a good old smack. Right. It didn't feel like that. Fourteen bolts of linen cloth. I like being a tailor because I actually use linen cloth for once. I still got like the old old school mentality of keeping my my cloth to sell in the auction house to make a bit of money. <laughs> I, I, people probably still do that. Like there are some sirs out there who probably still have that style of play. Yep. But I can make you some bags later on. Ooh, yay. Well, you say yeah, but you'll want the bags later on. I might. No, you will. You want them. You'll want them. Okay. Nah, I'd I'd happily pay gold just to not have to take your bags. <laughs> you take. You you want to touch my bag. <laughs> my sack. Oh, you're right. My right. my magic sack. My sack magic. What do I have to do now? Kill Gregor. Gregor Clegane. I wish, um, as a Forsaken, you could like customize your character a bit more, like. Choose some really nice, um, like, types of undead to play as. I would love to play as like a full on skeleton. Oh, I got that. Level 11 already. God damn it. Okay, turn. Return to the shadows. I will make an effort to wear this wizard cape every time I play my mage. And by the way, one of the the spec arcane should just be wizard, rather than like frost should be lich because that's cool, and fire should be pyromancer because that's even more badass. But arcane should just be wizard because I just want to be a wizard. Do do. Congratulations, you have reached level 11. Is there achievement for that? Feels like there's an achievement for everything these days. Coleman Farthing. That's a cool name. That sounds like a name of a character from Stephen King book. Hmm? Am, I about, am I out of space? I'm going to have to get rid of the executor's staff. Or the executor. Discipline. Praise the shadow. Praise the sun. Paul. Sure, man. You're not a Dark Souls fan, so you won't understand. Um, I had it on my laptop for a bit, but I never really got around to playing it properly. That's because you had it on the laptop, my friend. Yeah. You don't play Dark... One does not simply play Dark Souls on the PS... On the PC, rather. That's better on PC. PC mm. master is. It's not better on the PC, dude. Yep. It's it's not. Trust me. No, I'm not. But I like that Dark Souls. Ugh. I kind of feel sad that Monster are advertising Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. That's because they've already got the uh, the raiding population. Under the yeah, thumb? They're, yeah, they're expanding already. Yeah. I don't know if... I, I might be calling this, but South Park should totally make an episode of South Park. That sounds like a... I, I've got more to say than simply that, I should say right now. It's not like I was about to say South Park should make an episode of South Park. Although, to be fair, that is wise words. South Park should always be made, because it is timeless and fucking awesome. But, um, they should make an episode about that woman who said that Monster was, like, the, the devil's drink. You know, like, that woman who was like, 
You see these lines? Oh, looks yeah, it's the Hebrew symbol of six. Looks like the, the symbol of the Hebrew six. Yeah. And what do you see in the O of monster? A cross. I was I was convinced. That was quite funny. I thought it was funny because she was deadly serious. Well, to be fair, it, that's probably entirely true. The company probably designed it like that deliberately. Mm. The company is pretty evil because it will. It, yeah, but uh, they didn't design it to be evil. They probably designed it as an Easter egg. Well, you see, monster is the most addictive substance known to man. It can also power a car, and it can also rid you of your teeth within four cans. Me and Paul both have ivory teeth that we've had um, Speak for yourself. imported. Like, that original? We've had these imported from Asia um, for several <laughs> thousand yen. <laughs> these replacement teeth. Because we just can't... Our addiction to monster is... You know how, like, heroin addicts, you can, like, see... You can see the marks of the needles? All you need to do is just look into, like, the, the jaws of a, of a monster... Like a drinker, and if their if their teeth are pearly white, and you could tell that they've got fake teeth, then you know they're a monster drinker. Oh man! Also, you just look in their eyes, and if they look like they're having a panic attack, and at the same time like they're really really hyper, then you know they've had a lot of monster. Yeah, if they're supposed to fuck, it's a monster. Yeah. Well, you know me, I have like panic attacks from the monster. Like, <laughs> when Ward came out, when we first raided, I drank. A, I'll, I'll, I'm sad to admit this because it makes me sound so fucking kid childish. But I drank two cans of Monster within like a very short space of time and then had to go to bed early, like to get up really early the next day. And I wasn't tired and I was lying in bed and I literally felt like I was, my life was going down the chain and that I spent all my time playing WoW and that my, I was never going to amount to anything, that I was going to fail uni. And all this bullshit. And then the next day I woke up like, what the fuck was that episode? And it was the monster, it must have been the monster. Blame it on the monster, you know? Uh. What do we have to do? Oh, yeah, I've got to get the. Pr got to do a procedure, apparently. A procedure. I don't know what kind of procedure, but an interesting one, no doubt. Devlin Angmand. Agamand. Oh, there's a dude dancing up here. Legend. I'll dance with this guy. There's a guy up here just dancing by himself, but I decided to join him because it's more interesting than the quest. He's turning. Oh, we're both turning in simultaneousness. There we go. Simultaneously under dancing. Speaking oh, yeah. Of, uh, monster in the 666. Have you seen your health? Is it 666? Yeah. Illuminati, my friend. Illuminati. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh shit, the spirits of the, the, the dead. It's like most haunted. I've got like that M Mel Goodwine or whatever her name is. Some most haunted shit going on in Brill. There we go. The procedure must have surely been completed by now. Oh, my dancing friend left me. Whoever you were, I can't remember what your name was. I'll have to watch it, but you're a cool dude. I think your name was like Benefictus. You're a cool dude. He says, expecting that this guy will be amongst the 30 people who watch his video. Is the procedure completed or not? Or have I just wasted all my time? When does he attack him? No, he has attacked me, but like it was yeah, somebody else who... Guess, yeah. Somebody who triggered it, but that hasn't said procedure completed yet. Please tell me I don't have to do it all again. Yeah. Jesus Christ, because that guy triggered it. Oh, I, I have to do it all again. Yeah. <sighs> Very well. I'm just going to fucking stand at the top... And just fucking hold down the the two key. I'm gonna take a moment to have a breath. Cause my heart's convulsing because of that monster shriveling up. Such a pussy. It's the devil's the devil's juice. His love <laughs> his love his love juice. <laughs> who else would who else would uh who would would advertise Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? But the devil. I'm not quite sure about your logic. But it's Call of Duty. And it's not even like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1. COD 4. The, the, I used to play that. That's because it's a good game. A good game. But everything after that. World at War. Sound. There was like the three the three gems, which was Modern Warfare, World at War, and then Modern Warfare 2. Mm. Fine. After that, though, no. No. You know, you know World at War? Did you play World at War? 
Uh, like, through it like, yeah, like Victor oh. Reznov and shit. Mm. He was voiced by Gary Oldman, did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah, that's some, that's some... You learn something every day, and the procedure's been completed. Does this mean I don't have to go to uni tomorrow? You don't go to uni today, so you probably won't go to uni anyway, my friend. That's true. Don't use me as a, as a reason to uh, explain away your habits. You're enabling me. I'm enabling you to drink Monster. Well, that happens already. It's alright, we've got a consignment of ivory teeth coming. Because even one set isn't enough. Boots of Brill? That sounds like something you have to say in a Yorkshire accent. Boots of Brill? I'm listening. Browse the goods. Sell them off. You get so much shit in this game. Cracked eggshell? Really? It should just be like a sell crap thing. Just to sell some shit. Sell that hot and spicy meat. There we go. What else? Report to places. Where the fuck are you? Are you already in Silverpine? Yeah. Are you not completing the tourist fall? Hmm? I don't. Well, fuck going all the way over there. But over there, the bulwark and shit. No. Not doing it. Not having it. Oh, that's a good. That's a good point. That's a good point. I've got the levels to start cracking off on here, so. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that is true. I haven't got all day. Apparently, I haven't got the levels to to travel to the sepulchre. Right. I've gonna have to travel to the undersea, which is basically pointless. I've just wasted wasted pra like several seconds of time by traveling to the undersea because now I'm gonna have to run out of the undersea. God damn it! But at least I'll be able to complete the quest that's in the undersea. And get some nice panoramics of the city and meet Sylvanus because you know Sylvanus is nice. Is there like a bat mount besides the shitty one that you have to pay money for that you shouldn't have to pay money for? Fuck no. Because I really want to get one of these undead bat mounts. Cause come on now, they're fucking cool. And they've got little tails. Curse you with your extra heirlooms to get into level 12. In before level 12. Alright. And the worst part is that you won't be at uni tomorrow, so you'll be cracking on with it. Nah, probably will be. Well, what have you got? Have you got a lot of stuff? Are we gonna detail for the people <sighs> watching the amount of things you have at uni? Uh, stats at 9, <coughs> economics at 10, and X cars at 1, I think. X cars? Is that like a yeah. wacky races? <laughs> nah, it's exploring the cosmos. It's basically oh, X cars. I thought you said X cars. Yeah, yeah. X cars. Exploring yeah, the cosmos. Is that like some Carl Sagan shit? It's a joke subject. It's is, it, is it Carl Sagan? Nah. Nah. Are you? Do you like exploring the cosmos? No, I suppose it's interesting enough. It'd be sad if you were a lecturer in it and know that you like your subject is bullshit. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, everybody only... takes it as like an. Uh, uh, just as a filler, yeah. Things. To be fair, I did that with Russian. Look where I got myself. I'm already a spy working for the Spets and that. Is that even a thing anymore? I can't tell you, you Western capitalist dog. Can I fly to the sepulchre? No! No! You're not going to the fucking sepulchre. Am I not? No. Oh, am I going to the bit where Sylvanus has a. A run in with Sagan, what's it called? Sagan High Command. I'm, I'm going to the bit where Sylvanas and Garrosh have a fight and he calls her a bitch and you know there's some serious sexual tension in the air. Yeah. Well played, Garrosh, my man. It doesn't count as necrophilia if it's a different species. Well, that's questionable. You've, you've got no proof that I said it. This video can't be uploaded now. Yeah. No, never mind. I think I'm going to level, do one dungeon, then go better. Are we going to cap it off with a dungeon? I think so. Although you're probably oh, going to get no, there way before me. 
I'll tell you what, I'll just go to sleep and tell me you catch up. <laughs> Alright, okay. What do you reckon it'll be like by the time you've had a good nap rather than 20 minutes? Yeah, we've got a couple of hours left. It's alright, 20 minutes and then a monster is a good way to start the day. What's the time? Oh, it's only half, it's only half 11. It's only half 11. I could just steal one there. That's probably not going to get you into uni. Don't be, don't be a certain friend of ours that we know that I'm not going to name. <laughs> don't do that to yourself. Uh, original clitoris. Yeah. I don't know, I might do. I mean, I've got to be out of here by like 8 o'clock if I want to walk into uni in time. So like, yeah, what's yeah, the yeah. likelihood of me being able to get myself out of bed at like fucking... Half seven. I can just say, like, this is making for a riveting view for anyone watching this. You know, like your your deep. What my life crisis. Your drama. You know, like, hang on. You you say that again. Say that again. Say my say what your problems. No, say what your problems are. What? Say when what? I, what? When I can get myself out of bed at half seven in the morning. Paul is wondering whether or not he can get himself <laughs> out of bed in the morning. Half seven's early, man. I'm not sure. Paul, on last night's episode of bullshit. Paul said he was going to get himself up bright and early in order to go to university, but in a shocking change of events, he didn't. He couldn't be asked. He couldn't be asked because he lives in Glasgow and it's freezing cold. Yeah. It fucking is. I, I've got to walk for like 40 minutes to get to uni as well. It's my fault for being such a fucking cheap I've, rent I've slur. got to like walk like four seconds to get to uni. I know. I used to fucking live there, dude. It's a great flat. Yeah, I know. I just live in Ed's mouldy room. For anybody who wants to know, I live in a room with dark mould on the ceiling. It wasn't there before he turned up. No, <laughs> you you say that like I like summon <laughs> summon the mould because that's like the worst like ability ever. Like I can I can summon mould to slowly creep across the cur the ceiling and give you t slowly poison your lungs with damp. Well, you know, you could probably use that as some sort of assassination technique. Never get caught because it's just mold, right? Hmm. That's that biological warfare. Yeah. But really fucking shit you on. Pretty much. Oh shit! Can I just jump on the the guy with the carriage and he'll take me back? Vaguely. It'll take you like past it, I think. Yeah. Oh, he's taking me the wrong way. I can't get off because I haven't got the uh, get off button bound. He's taking me the wrong way. Oh no, sorry, I think he turns around and comes back. Yeah, I know, but like... Who knows. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, turn around. He's he's still... He's gone into Tirisfall now. He's going the... Oh, no. We've travelled a long, long way in the wrong direction. And then he's just kicked me off and he's disappeared. What a troll! <laughs> he, the, he, he... What a legend. He took me the wrong way, and then he just like dis despawned. Sweet. What the fudgezzle? Oh, I can feel my pancreas struggling to deal with this monster. I have pancreat. I have pancreatic pain. All right. Sorry, you've got toleration now. Yep. I'm immune to this shit. Do you just go with the original, or do you have other flavors of monster that you no, partake in? No, I like Ripper, in? actually. I'm a fan of Ripper, the yellow one. Mm. It tastes like Lilt, doesn't it? Mm, it's nice. It's nice down again. I, to be honest, though, nothing beats original. I don't know, every time I drink original, it tastes like Jaeger now. I've got to say, dude, like I can actually feel my like kidneys in pain now. It's moved to my kidneys, it's spreading. It's such a wind, man. It's, kidneys were not meant to deal with this amount of sugar, you know? Well, my kidneys never complain. Jesus Christ. You feel happy and sick at the same time. Where is that oh shit, Sylvanus riding on a horse. Oh, but Arcane Barrage, that's that's sexier. Launches and builds of Arcane the enemy. I remember when that quest first came out where Garrosh and Sylvanus talk and it just broke into fuck and like you'd wait for 20 minutes for it to start. Oh, this is really sad because it just makes me miss Garrosh a bit. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Arcane Barrage, looks and bolts of Arcane Energy at the end of the game. Weren't you so glad you could make it? With the death of the Lich King, many of the more intelligent Scourge became unemployed. 
Those fiends, as you so delicately put it, are called a Valkyr. They are under my command now. Listening to Sylvanas with like high quality headsets on is just it's just a joy. I don't know who the voice actor is who does Sylvanas' voice, but she has a, a lovely voice. Very nice. As a race, we've forsaken our unable to procreate. With the aid of the Valkyr, we are now able to take the corpses of the Hey Paul! What does Garrosh and Sylvanas have in common? Um, They're both the dead. Boom. Well, I'm laughing on you. Sit the fuck down. I bet that's never been told before. Anyway. Alright. Okay. probably a reason for that. No. It's kind of sad seeing Garrosh here, though. To be fair, I like Iril a lot more than I like Garrosh. Iril's a fucking cool character, isn't she? Who? Iril. No the Drenai! From what? Oh, like, yeah, the yeah. one co- Oh, no, Marab is a badass, though. Marab's pretty cool. And he's a fucking badass. But, like, the thing that I like about Iril is that she's like a- She's like a Drenai Jaina, in that she becomes a badass because all of her friends die. And it's cool. Mm. Just ch chilling in the capital. But at the same time, she doesn't do what Dre Jaina does and just decide to kill people who are fucking innocent, like a crazy bitch. Oh, just chilling in the catapult. Shut your clever mouth, bitch. Oh, you, you, just the way he like pauses and you're like, is he actually gonna say that? In WoW. The B word. Shut your clever mouth. As you command, War Chief. La la la, it's funny because he basically threatens Sylvanas that she's gonna die, and it's like, Garrosh, mate. You just predicted your own fate, pal. He's like, one day you'll have to face your maker, and it's like, that's exactly what happened to you. Okay. Questing hits a very, very boring stage when you get to Silver Pine, doesn't it? Yep. Like, you've done all that cool Tyrus Fall shit, and it goes by swiftly, and then it's just like, Kill ten wagon. Recover six clean beast guts. Man, that one's always a bitch if there's more than like three people doing the quest at one point. Yeah, I know, I know. It's some fucking weird shit. It's like, <laughs> WoW's a great game, but when people talk about WoW like strangling the MMO market because like pe games aren't allowed to innovate because WoW is there just like doing its thing like and doing it well. But like giving quests like that, whilst other games are trying to like innovate and have you like do dynamic events and stuff, mm. it's like. To be fair, they tried that in Ward now. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. did. They did. Yeah, they did a really good job of questing in Ward. It was a joy. I don't mind actually. Maybe much doing Resto. I'm not sure why I did it in Resto, but I did. Hmm. Hang on a second. So does Arcane Barrage replace Fire Blast? Yeah, uh, I think so. Ooh. I can't remember why. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. I like it. Yeah, because Fire Blast like, doesn't really do anything. You wouldn't, it's not part of your rotation. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but it's the fact yeah, that you, no, exactly, you yeah. can't use it at all. It's like gone from your spellbook, that's what yeah. I mean. Yeah, but you, you wouldn't really want to. Because yeah, I know. It's, it's just, just I, more that spell clone shit they got going on. It's just the arbitrary nature of it. Nothing better than killing a fucking pain in the ass wagon. Yeah, I like the thing that I quite like about Arcane so far is just like the level of um, the choices you have to make as a DPS, as like what yeah. you, when you're gonna like you say drop stacks and stuff like that. Like, are you gonna keep doing Arcane Blast forever? Or are you gonna drop it in an Arcane like um, charge or whatever? Drop it in an Arcane Barrage rather. No, I think you're supposed to build it up to like four stacks and then Arcane it. charge it. Yeah. No, and then Arcane like, Barrage keep rather. Using it. Use all your Arcane missiles, and then keep using it until your mana drops below eighty percent. And then, and then Arcane use barrage. the instant e the instant bit of evil, and then a couple more, and then drop it on Barrage and start again. Yeah. I'll have to look at like the rotation, and obviously when I get to like high levels, yeah, so I'll just spend just a head, I'll spend a shitload of time fucking learning about it. You no, know, it'll be like certain people we know, and you know, like 
only log on for raids and not enchant gear. <laughs> yeah, I found that amusing. If you're gonna do heroic, oh, arcane barrage is a nice looking spell. Yeah, it is. It's, they should just give that as arcane blast, please. I would love to have that constantly going off. I like how it's instant as well. It's just nice, nice having that instant spell as a mage. Um, no, if you're gonna raid heroic or mythic or even no, if you're gonna raid at all outside of LFR, which isn't raiding, don't don't only log on five minutes before the raid with no enchants on your main hand weapon, which is a six ten I level weapon. <laughs> GK. Certainly not a Barca style of play. Right, here we go. I love how, you know, when you get the ferocious doom weed, it like makes all the little flowers appear around your feet. Hmm. Yeah, I've got like one lecture tomorrow at 11, and then after that, free, so. If you get fu if you yeah, this is more about like as I've said before, it's more about the just the crack and the company whilst leveling rather than being at the same level. Yeah. Yes. I mean, Durumbar's level fucking thirty nine. I'll be interested to see if he can like join the same. Uh, this isn't meant to be like a stuck up thing to say, but I'll be interested to see if he joins this, can join the same guilds that I'll be applying for because. It's the same for me. I never really, I don't know. I think the I'm thing is, not much end content. Well, obviously I've, I've done bits, but, but I with, yeah. get there at the beginning of the expansion and then get bored halfway through. Yeah, but the thing with the thing with Durumba is more about the, like the time that he can put in because of the fact that he has full time job and stuff. Yes. Like he struggles to get on now because of like his job, um, and obviously we raid a bit later than most guilds raid. Like most guilds raid four hours. To be fair, we finished at 10 months, why? Yeah. I don't think it's starting time. Yeah, I know, but like, he has to log off straight away. I don't think he'd want to stay if he... Yeah, well, he left at like half an hour early. Oh, you? well, only because he like... I can understand why, because he, he like gets to work for like 6 in the morning. Yeah, that's something I can't do. No, I mean, I struggle to get up at like 10 in the morning. Exactly. And then Kip struggles to wake up at 10 at night. Kip struggles to wake up in the day. Ugh. <sighs> But whatever the case, I'm going to end this one here because it's been going on a long while. And I'll probably not make another one tonight because of the fact that you'll probably want to be going off in a bit. Um, yeah, probably. Watch. Remember, Raiders. Food, flasks, focus. Subscribe. Continue the shit. I'll see you in the next video.